So in this problem, we're told a world-class sprinter can reach a top speed of about 11.5 meters per second in the first 15 meters of a race. What is the average acceleration of the sprinter and how long does it take her to reach that speed? So I'm just gonna draw a person right here to represent our sprinter. And so it says that they travel, or they can reach a top speed 11.5 meters per second in the first 15 meters of a race. So they're traveling 15 meters. So I'm gonna represent this as 15 meters. And then at this point, at 15 meters, they're reaching a top speed, which is 11.5 meters per second. So we've got this, we've got this. We should also label the initial velocity, so the speed at which they're traveling in the beginning. right? And so in the beginning of the race, they're not moving at all, right? Because it's right when it starts. So their speed is going to be 0 meters per second. And so now that we've got these variables, let's actually label them. So we know that its final velocity, which we represent by v, is just going to be 11.5 meters per second. And then we know its initial velocity, which we represent by v sub 0, equals 0 meters per second. And then finally, uh, the uh, amount it travels, which is 15 meters, we represent that by delta x, or the change in position. So that equals 15 meters. And then let's see what we're trying to find. So we're trying to find average acceleration and the time it takes for them to reach that speed. So we're trying to find A, uh, which is acceleration, and T, which is the amount of time it takes. So I think the best thing to do would start is just by finding A, because that's what they ask us to find first. So let's go ahead and find A. So in order to find A, we're going to have to use the kinematic equations. And so if we look at these equations, so it seems for all of the top ones, we need time. But we're not given time yet. So the only one that we could use to solve for is number four, because we have everything required. We have velocity, or final velocity, initial velocity, and delta x. And we can solve for a. So let's go ahead and solve for a. So it's going to be uh, v squared, so 11.5 squared, equals v sub 0, which is 0 squared. And 0 squared is just 0, so I'm not going to write it. And then 2 times a times delta x. And so delta x is 15. So I'm going to take this 2 and multiply by the 15. So 2 times 15 is 30, so it's going to be 30a. And then if we want to solve for a, we can divide both sides by 30. So a equals 11.5 squared divided by 30. And so if you go ahead and plug that in your calculator, you should get 4.408. And if we want to round to this place, uh, it's going to be 4.41. So acceleration equals 4.41. And then keep in mind, we're doing in meters and seconds. So it's going to be meters per second squared. So that's acceleration. Now let's find time. So if we look at our equations, uh, which one? We could probably use all of them, but the one that's the most simple is this one right here. Uh, v uh, equals v sub 0 plus a times t. Because we just solved for acceleration. We are given v sub 0, and we have v. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm just going to choose this one up here. So v, which is 11.5. So we have 11.5 equals v sub 0 which is just 0, plus a, which is 4.41, times t. And so we're solving for t, right? So it's going to be 11.5 equals 4.41t. So if we divide by 4.41, we'll find what t equals. And so 11.5 divided by 4.41 is going to equal 2.607. 7 and so if we want to round this I'm going to round it to this place right here so it would go up to 1 so 2.61 and so keep in mind what uh, the units are time is measured in seconds right because we're using seconds for all these so it's going to be 2.1 seconds so these right here are going to be your answers and that's how you solve this problem